According to well-placed sources within the palace, the king's health is rapidly declining as desperate attempts are made to salvage the 1,200-year-old British monarchy, which has been rocked by a seemingly endless stream of scandals, illnesses, family disputes, and an heir who is too frail and preoccupied to prevent its catastrophic collapse. An insider from the royal family has disclosed that the king's condition is far worse than what the palace has publicly acknowledged, and he is simply not capable of managing the intricate dynamics of his fractious family, the crown's business affairs, and the daily obligations of monarchy. Another source corroborated this revelation, emphasizing the severity of the king's illness, describing him as considerably weakened, with everything teetering on the brink of collapse. Unfortunately, since the passing of Queen Elizabeth in September 2022, Charles, who waited over seven decades to ascend the throne, has witnessed the monarchy spiral uncontrollably downward. Despite battling terminal pancreatic tumors, the exhausted 76-year-old Queen Camilla has planned a carefree trip to the Mediterranean, stepping in for her ailing husband on 13 consecutive occasions. Meanwhile, the Prince of Wales has scaled back his royal engagements to care for his unwell wife, Princess Catherine, among other responsibilities. Notably, accused sex offender Prince Andrew was designated to represent the royal family at a memorial service for King Constantine of Greece in February, following the Prince of Wales' withdrawal due to personal reasons, marking a nadir in the royal family's hierarchy. Behind closed doors, Camilla's apparent disdain for the king's perceived frailty is evident, as she offers minimal comfort during his battle with fatal cancer. Her disapproval extends to her stepson, the Prince of Wales, whom she views as incapable of handling royal duties alone, as evidenced by her decision to take a vacation. While Prince Edward, Princess Anne and Charles's wife Sophie have attempted to shoulder some of the Queen's responsibilities, they too are overwhelmed by the mounting pressures. Reports suggest that the frosty relationship between Camilla and Anne has intensified, with and lamenting the added burden of assuming some of the Queen's duties while she vacations. Analysts who study the royal family assert that efforts to streamline the number of legitimate family representatives began approximately 12 years ago, laying the groundwork for the monarchy's demise. The Duke and Duchess's marriage further weakened this fragile structure, as they distanced themselves from the family and launched an aggressive campaign to discredit their royal relatives. Today, after enduring over two months of incessant turmoil, the royal family appears depleted, with any semblance of harmony shattered. Behind the scenes, there is an atmosphere of disarray, with the family retreating into a bunker mentality in anticipation of impending doom. As we reflect on these developments, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Your insights are invaluable as we navigate this tumultuous period. Thank you for watching and until next time take care.